princess be a bad Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Bad Tammy and we are back with another weekly video. So I'm actually a little excited to be starting this off with you guys. Today it's September 13th, so it's officially our one month me postpartum and then you know one month for Taleza the baby. So I actually had plans of doing a little something to you know capture the memory. I did want to go to Dewey's and get a small cake and get you know one month on it. Take some little pictures of her and like I said just capture the memory. We actually are starting our day off a little late because I do tend to wake up around like 12-ish, 1-ish. Like finally get my day going. I don't think we will pretty much get into a lot today. Like I said I'm still excited just for hitting this one month today so whenever we end up going out i will check in with you guys i just wanted to you know come say hey don't forget to subscribe and do all that good stuff and i will just come and check in with you guys so i made the order at dewey's for the cake unfortunately they couldn't do what i wanted all the way but i'm just happy i was able to actually put the order in because it is a bit late and they're just so extra honestly like it's a simple cake so originally i wanted something like this to match the flowers on her little outfit or even something like this which i knew this was already gonna be extra and then i wanted them to you know write one month of course but when i placed the order it was like specific little designs that they could do luckily they did have like a flower design so i just went with that one i'm gonna see what it give when i go pick it up she said it shouldn't take no longer than like 15 to 20 minutes so we ran to Kava real quick because it is like across the street to pick up on some food. And then I'm going to show you guys the cake whenever I go back and pick it up. Alright guys, we came back to Dewey's to pick up the cake. And this is what it's giving. So this is the cake. She did like some pink roses with some petals and then wrote one month. So y'all seen cake and I mentioned that we got some kava. I'm trying for something new. I got a pita. I think I'm saying it right. Just wanted to try something different and mostly because the bowl that I get I can't really eat most of those toppings so I just you know got something different but I got a pita with chicken super greens corn cucumber and the hot honey um harissa chicken so this is what it looks like it doesn't really look that appetizing so cheers we got a weird angle And then y'all know I love their cucumber mint water. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish eating and check in with you guys. Once we make it home. Alright guys, so I am home. I guess I'm gonna show you guys my quick little outfit. I just have on this pink body top. I have on these shorts from Sheen. And then I have on my black Rick Owens black headband and i did have my pink dior bag something cute and simple and then my little diaper bag that i got for now my little mom errands outfit i actually do have a few packages in my office that i need to open and you know get rid of some of this mess that i'll probably open with you guys in a little bit but for now we're gonna get um you know baby um pictures situated i'm just taking some little pictures off my camera and probably just my phone it's really just simple it probably shouldn't even take that long so i'm gonna actually just take her pictures on my bed i do have my little throw blanket right here that it's like white so i just 
threw it on the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and change her into her little outfit. It says her name. The only thing is it doesn't have the H at the end. This was supposed to be her coming home outfit. And I had already came up with her name beforehand. But last minute, actually, I decided to add the H at the end to kind of give it like the similarity to Tazana's name at the end. Y'all know her name ends with the N-A-H. So I just thought it was be cute to have, you know, Z-A-H as well. So this is her little outfit. I mean, it's still her name, honestly. That's why I have one of the little flowers so it can match this. But I fed her, so I think she should be cool, hopefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her dressed and put her little, you know, cake beside her. I'm gonna show you guys it all done because I am gonna take the pictures off my camera, like I said. So I'm gonna show y'all when I'm all done. But actually right now, let me show y'all the baby. We actually just had a doctor's visit yesterday because she had a whole bunch of like bumps on her face and they basically said it's cradle something i'll put it on the screen but it's just happened on her face so she does have a lot of like baby acne right now but my baby's still cute Sam. i'm still cute i'm still that girl she don't want to look <laughs> but i don't know if y'all can see she has a lot of like red bumps i still like i said wanted to get the memory and she's still cute so it doesn't matter but it was much much worse y'all right now it's actually on the cool side but yeah i'm gonna get her dressed and then i'm gonna just show you guys the little setup all right guys so we got to lay on a bit i'm gonna also put this beside her i should probably take something like that first too lazy you can't even see your name girl all right y'all so this is the setup i'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures <laughs> for she you know act up or anything like that to lasers one month all right guys so we are done with the shoot she actually ate for a little while and she ended up falling asleep but the pictures came out real cute so if you guys want to see those pictures they'll most likely be on my other instagram which is more of bad tammy you guys can follow that page if y'all want but i know i said i wanted to show you guys a few things because i did open up some packages so this is actually some dividers that i got i don't know if you guys remember the ones that are in tazana's drawers when i organized her clothes so they were broke, so I just went ahead and ordered, I actually ordered two packs. So here's one and then the other one is back here, which I'll probably show you guys because I do need to organize some clothes. Then I got like these iron on patches for a DIY that we will also get into later in this vlog. I know you guys seen my current little diaper bag, but I honestly don't like it. So I ordered one from Amazon. It's just like a basic pinkish one it looks like a very like dusty light pink so we'll probably get to doing this hopefully tomorrow so this is gonna be my new diaper bag the one that i really really wanted and fell in love with is actually sold out everywhere which is a bummer so for my diaper bag i wanted to like decorate it a bit like with some charms so i ordered this hello kitty like baby plush then I got this other Hello Kitty key charm. Basically, it's like charms that I ordered. And then like a case for hand sanitizer to have. I also ordered this big pack of like nursing pads. Because sometimes, you know, if you know, you know. And then I have this package actually that came in like yesterday, I believe. Which I've been looking forward to because it's actually just like a whole bunch of lounge clothes slash pajamas. Just because I'm really just going to be in a house. I still have like weight on me. So my sizing did change. So I'm going to actually go ahead and take the stuff out the packaging just to make it a little easier for me first. Alright guys so I got some nursery bras. 
is a one, two, three, four, five pack with different colors. Definitely need, need, need. And then it seems like I got this other pack of a gray and black one. Getting to the sets, it's actually a quite few. I didn't know I ordered this much. And I'm actually really, really excited because when I get out the shower, I just be having a hard time trying to find something that I just like, you know, feel comfortable in. It's not too tight. And I just really been having the same stuff in rotation. So I'm really happy that I did do this for myself because I feel like the least that I can do is kind of, you know, look a little cute to feel good about myself because i really just been having a lot of hard days i don't want to get into that so i did give me some new like slippers they have a pink bow on them so this is the first set i'm pretty much just gonna show it to you guys because y'all know i'm gonna say cute cute to everything this is the next set this is the top for that i got a cherry set this one actually comes with some pajama pants and it comes with shorts as well similar to the first set but different colorways this is the crop top then this one is a halter top and the color gray and then it comes with like some yoga pants i got a lot of different styles these seem very comfy and stretching. This is the top to this one, just like a tank top. Got a pink cheetah set. This is the pajama top to that one. I got some lace on the sleeves. I really like this one. It's like a cami top with a red trim at the bottom. It comes with some wide legged pants and they have that same like red trim so this is a leopard one this one kind of actually looks like lingerie yep it's see-through i didn't know it was gonna be like that got this checkered one that comes with matching shorts and all of these i actually got either in medium or large these are some gray shorts and it just comes with like a big shirt so this one actually seems to be like a rumper we've got another cheetah set this one has like blue lace these are the matching pants this is so cute y'all you can't tell me that it's not cute these are some shorts and then this is the top for that one and then lastly is this set it has this cute little swiggly design on the side and then this is the top with it to match of course so that's my little loud set hard pretty much but i'm actually gonna go in the kitchen because i do want to cut the cake that i got for Teleza, so me and tazana can have a little slice so let's go to the kitchen so here's the cake we just need a small piece i think this should be good So here's our little cake. I'm a, you know, cheers to one month postpartum, one month to my second princess being here with me. And just cheers to me with all my emotions that I've been going through, my breastfeeding journey, and just, you know, this new life of being a mama too. I deserve this. So cheers to me and to Laza. Their cake is actually pretty good, but it ain't with my cake lady. But I just really wanted something small. And the smallest that she make is not small. So I just didn't want to do that because I didn't want to waste it. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and give Tazana her slice as well. We're just gonna eat this. And honestly, this is probably all that I will be bringing you guys for today. Cause it's currently 10.30 and that's usually when I end my days. Like, you know, I don't go out, I don't do much. And then around this time I do try to get in the bed and you know, get rest sometimes or just watch TV, which is pretty much what I'm gonna do. So you guys won't be missing nothing. I will most likely check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is Wednesday and I'm actually gonna put together my new diaper bag that I told you guys about. And then I'm also supposed to be helping my sister and my cousin on some centerpieces for um, her daughter's first birthday that's coming up this weekend. So I have fell in love with this diaper bag, y'all, that I've seen and it's completely sold out everywhere, like literally everywhere. And it just wasn't available. So I ended up ordering one from Etsy, like trying to customize it, make it like a little Hello Kitty, but I really don't like it. I ended up not liking it at all. So I figured just to go with something like a little more simple and just, you know, kind of make it cute. So I ended up going with this one on amazon i seen it and i liked it it actually seemed a bit more pink online it kind of looks a little nude like a nude pink but it's all right like i said i just wanted something more on a simple side because i felt like the charms that i want to add is going to give it the pop well that's the vision that i have in my head so it's a pretty decent size it comes i guess with the changing mat and this is what she looks like on the inside. It's pretty, it's pretty spacious. These are actually insulated, you know, keep the bottles warm. So I did put my stuff out here that I feel like I would need. I had ordered these little kind of like bag organizers from Timu because I kind of already knew that I wanted to, you know, make the bag put together and cute. So I also got these. They have like a bow print on it. It's a three pack. Then you guys seen the charms that I got to put on there. So first off, you know, a diaper bag. You need the diapers, the wipes, a few changes of clothes, and then extra little things that, you know, we may need while we're out. So in this one, I think I'm going to organize like the clothing item. So I went ahead and grabbed some outfits. Got a few outfits right here that we will add. Then I'm gonna add an extra pair of mittens and then I'm gonna also pack some socks in here. I'm gonna pack two bibs and that should be enough for the clothing items. So that's that. I'm gonna add my diapers in here so we're gonna add a decent amount so we're just gonna fill up the whole little baggie and that's what that looks like and then for the wipes I'm just gonna add the wipes like that I actually think I ordered like a case cover for this but I didn't see it in my stuff. So this actually does have, you know, a case to make it a little more on the cute side. But either way, I feel like wipes can just go in there without all the extra stuff. So in this much smaller one, I will be adding like pacifiers. So I'm gonna put these two. I'm gonna add some baby cotton swabs, of course. I got this cute little container that I had got a while ago. So I just figured to put it to use. Well, I'll put a few so actually only three fit in here so you know just to keep it on the cute side we're gonna put that in there and then I'm actually gonna order another one of these from Amazon you know it's the case that comes with everything just so we can have one at home oh lord home and then one for her bag so I'm gonna order another one and then that would just go in there and then I'm gonna put this little bomb in here as well for now, at the top of my head, this is all I can think of to put in here. So we're gonna close this up. So of course the changing mat needs to go in here. Then we're gonna add the clothes. Get 
diapers. Wipes. The baggie with the extras in it. When this one gets in there, we'll just stuff it in here as well. It has a lot of like side spaces. And then y'all know the I will stuff it with the bottles whenever I would need to. Because y'all know I basically pretty much breastfeed. So this is extra for now as well. But I'm going to go ahead and just stuff it in here. Close her up. And this is what she's looking like. So for the charms, I think I'm going to add it on this side of the bag. Of course, y'all know I need a little Hello Kitty plushie. This one kind of gives like a stuffed bear vibe. So I'm going to put it right here. Oh, that's so cute. So this is the other one. It has some flowers and then the initial T. T for Tizzle. If it can focus. Yes. Then the hand sanitizer. I actually don't have a new one, so I'm going to just use this one for now. Put it on there. Oh. And I'm going to actually put this one onto this. So, that's what it looks like. And then this has a little clip, so I'm going to just clip it on here like that there's the bag i feel like this definitely adds the little touch i was looking for and the vision definitely came to life overall i really just wanted to go with something more simple since i didn't get the one that i really did want now that i think about it i do have some charms that i ordered so i think i want to put some charms like glue the charms on there so these are charms that I have, y'all. I don't know if y'all remember seeing them, but it's just like small Hello Kitty and Friends. I'm gonna dump them out right here real quick. I wanted to do it on the case since this one is replaceable, but for now, I think I'm gonna just add it on here because I just have this hot glue gun and I feel like for this, I would need the actual glue and I don't have it. So these are what the charms look like. I'm trying to go fast because this gun is not it. So this is the final product. I actually ended up finding some jewels and my stuff. So I just added it on there. So that's what that looks like. It's really cute. But like I said, I'm actually going to do it on the actual case because this is replaceable. Like I have to take this out. And replace it as you guys see is a little bit in there but i'm gonna clip it to the back so you guys can see how it looks with the case this is what it gives so this is the new diaper bag i also do have another diy that i want to do that i seen but i don't know when the girls will arrive so i'm gonna just you know wait to do that and i'll show you guys a little bit when they get here to do these centerpieces but for now i'm just gonna wait i do have to pump so i'm gonna do that and actually before i go i'm gonna show you guys this gift that i've been meaning to open that cheese sister bought for the baby 
She got this little cat outfit. It says perfect with some cheetah. It's baby shark towel. It says it has two washcloths and a wash mitt. So it's like a set. And then the matching um, washcloths. Cute. This unicorn onesie. And then some other sets. This is a unicorn one. Some hearts with a crown. And then like a princess vibe one. And then she also got her some socks. So thank you to her. And then I'm gonna definitely keep you guys updated whenever the girls pull up. Hey guys, Chelly and Nana have finally pulled up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we twinning, I just realized me and you. So we about to get started. Um, basically, her daughter's birthday theme is baby brats. She's gonna make a Bratz box, sort of like the Barbie one, but Bratz, of course. So that's what we're about to do. And then we're gonna do some centerpieces as well. You gotta construct the box first. She already lit. So if you guys wanna do this DIY at home, you need two big boxes. From Lowe's. From Lowe's. So they're gonna tape it take both boxes and then I'll just show you guys when they put it together. All right, y'all, so we done taping the box together. Next, we gonna stack it and tape it. Like so. Like so. All right, so now she gotta tape it like that. We had to cut the edges off cause we felt like it was gonna be too tall. She gonna go ahead and tape. Hey. Y'all probably need a duct tape there. What's wrong? Hey. Yeah, make sure you press on that. Alright guys, so it's all taped up. We put some everywhere so it can be sturdy. So then now Chaley's gonna measure out for basically the spaces that we're gonna cut out. So we can actually get inside the box. All right, guys. So I did the outline for where we're going to cut. So now Chelly is cutting along the line. So I'm going to show you guys when this is all cut out. And three, two, one. And we are done cutting. So this is what it looks like. Um, we're most likely probably going to put like more tape on the inside just to make sure it's secure. But it's looking good so far. So she's actually going to put um, wrapping paper. Purple. Her color is purple. Alright guys. So it's been a few. Chelly has just been putting the silver wrapping paper inside the box. She's almost done. So I'll show you guys that. I was just going to show y'all like the purple part. But I know I mentioned the centerpieces as well. Nana's going to show you guys those. Because I'm actually feeding right now. So she's gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of what they should look like. So these are the center pieces we did, what, two days ago? We got the floral foam, like a round one at the bottom, covered it with pink tissue paper. And then we got pink, purple, and then like this metallic tissue paper to give like that. We added these little balloon, um, I don't know the proper decor terms. This is a terms. balloon centerpiece pole. Yeah, because we're going to put a balloon on top. We did um one, so I'll show y'all what it's supposed to look like. And then they added these like little ribbons, curled it. So this is what we already had, but today we're adding the little brats cut out, hot glue in it. And then we're adding this at the bottom that we forgot to do first time. Okay. I have to push it all the way through. So then add this. Mm -hmm. Charlie made this one cricket. <laughs> it's flying. So now we're gonna have glue the figure. I kind of place it on there first. I put my finger at the top so I can make sure I'm doing it right. Do the hot glue. And then add it on there. You gotta press. 
fix the ribbing. We got one. We got two. Let me show y'all the final one. So this is the final, which all of them will look like, but Tammy said for us to not do the balloons until the day, the day of, but we just did like a test try. So it's just the purple balloon. And then we added her name on the balloon and the brat's font. And then this is the part y'all seen. So this is the vibe of the centerpiece. All right guys, so this is what the inside of the box is looking like so far. And she's already starting on the outside with the purple. You gonna keep the box chain to the party? Should have made it take some day you had a brass party and then your brother had a baby brass party. I didn't know you had six up. I'm close. Keep this one. So we got the front part done. Now we're gonna move to the sides, but it's looking good so far. So I'm gonna show you guys once it's done since y'all know it's just like cutting the paper, taping it down and doing all that. Are you done with the centerpieces? I got one more. Yeah. Okay, so Nana's almost done. All right, guys, so for the box, of course, we had to do the brats cut out as well. You guys have seen me do this a lot of times, so I didn't show y'all. So the day of the party, they're gonna use the hot glue gun, but for now, we wanna see what it looks like. So we're just gonna tape it. I am So cute. So that is the final product. DIY to the finest. How long it take? It's cute. Hey guys, so it's much later. The girls have left. And as you guys see, I'm feeding. It is currently two in the morning. So after this, she, you know, gone lay it down and we'll be up in the next like two and a half hours i do just have to look forward to zana's school clothes for tomorrow you know i'm gonna take a nap of course i ain't gonna say i'm going to bed because i'm gonna wake right back up but i just wanted to update you guys that you know i'm done helping the girls out for the night so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night with you guys and i'll probably come and speak to you guys tomorrow hey guys so i just got done refreshing up for the day um as you guys see, I got on one of these little PJ sets. I've been wearing these headbands because my breaking out right here has been bad again. And I just don't got time for it. But I'm actually going to put my Faja on for today. This is the one that I ordered from Amazon. Just because I actually haven't been doing it and it does help with my back. For these past like two to three days, I have been feeling like soreness more back pains than usual so i'm gonna put this on so let me show you guys this set is actually a bit on a tighter side i like my clothes a little more loose right now but this is how my mommy's stomach is looking right now we still got like some loose skin i feel like my stretch marks are definitely more visible than what they used to be So 
So I put it on and then I put my underwear and my um, shorts on top of it, of course. Just easier for when I like use the restroom. I got this in a large, but I do feel like I need to probably go down to like a medium. That's what it looks like on. I definitely feel the support in my back. So yeah, this is what I'm looking like with the Faha on. What Cardi say? Put me the Faha on now. Sister, are you sure? Put me the fucking Faha on now. But anyways, I actually had a package. If it's what I think it is. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Yeah, it is. So I ordered this off of Etsy. It's a customized blankie. Says thank you for being my customer. It has care instructions. And this is just my receipt and stuff. The only thing, y'all, both of my daughter's name have a Z in it. I really love cursive fonts, but I hate the letter Z in the cursive font. So it's just a little annoying. But I got her like this dusty pink blanket, and it says her name. Taliza. Really cute. And then this came with a matching like stuffy and then they put her name on there to match the color of the blankie. So this is really cute. Let me kind of lay it out so you guys can get a better picture of it. So this is what it looks like. And now that I think about it, this is actually a good option for me to put it inside her diaper bag or when we're out, of course. And then this one will probably be a nice touch for inside her um, bassinet. So I don't know if you guys remember from my last vlog, the last time I spoke to you guys, I had ordered a plant, which I need to put together back in the packaging to drop it off at the mailbox to send it back because they played me. put a little bit of tape i'm pretty sure when i drop it off you know they'll do make sure it's good enough and do my um label and all that but basically my new tree is in i went with six feet this time i'm gonna go ahead and take everything out first the same as the other one you just like insert it but it did come with like this fake grass i guess i can put at the top right here all right guys so this is what it looks like it's def taller but i'm gonna go ahead and you know put it in my room where it's supposed to go so i'm trying to set y'all up it is a bit dark because baby is actually napping right now. So excuse that. Alright, so that's what it looks like. It's definitely taller. So they actually just came back from the grocery store. Picking up a few items. And I did want to make a Caesar salad. You know, make like a Caesar salad from scratch. I looked up some few recipes on TikTok, so I'm a little excited to try that out. I haven't really been in the kitchen, so I did want to do like something simple and healthy. So we're basically going to do Caesar salads and steak as well. So whenever I go in the kitchen, I'll bring you guys with me. And I also did want to organize my clothes and my drawers. So hopefully I get to do that today as well, because I did order my drawer organizers, you know, make it a little easy to do that. So I'll probably check in with you guys once we make it to the kitchen. All right, guys. So y'all see these groceries here. And I'm actually warming up this chocolate that my mom made me yesterday. And I fixed me a mug. It's so warm. Like a boss. Period. I really been craving some fresh bread from the panaderia. 
I just haven't got my hands on some. So I actually need to text her to stop by and give me some. Cause this with some bread in the morning, chef's kiss. So that's that little clicking noise y'all probably hear. I'm about to go ahead and take this stuff out. Probably organized cause it seems like he got other stuff. He got me this like the last few weeks of my pregnancy. I tried it and these are actually good. Cherry tomatoes, key limes, essentia. Looks like a snack mix, trail mix. Garlic, mayo, olive oil, a cheese grater, chicken noodle soup. This is spicy chicken noodle soup. I never heard of that. Regular um, chicken noodle soup. I don't know if y'all been here, but Tazana is coughing a little bit. Mixed fruit. Spring mix. Be some nectarines. Moving on to the stuff back here. I actually had did some Instacart the other day and I never put the stuff up. So I do definitely need to do that. Just go ahead and put everything up. Bananas. Avocado. Lemons. A fruit mix, tuna, the squeezy applesauce, regular applesauce, peanuts, or fruit. You got some V8 vegetable juice, more V8, apple juice. And here is some mini Mountain Dews and ginger ale, beet juice. More tomatoes, anchovies. The anchovies is for the Caesar salad. Some more water. He also did get like aquafina, steak, romaine, almond milk, and then these are peaches. And then here's some stuff that I didn't organize, which are just some little bites, two packs of those. Some potatoes, um, oats. I got some bagels. I'm trying these out. They're actually bagel thins. So they're like thinner than the other bagels. And I wanted to try that because y'all know them other bagels do be thick. So should I start off by putting the stuff up that goes in the pantry? chips right now so i wonder if i should just flip it and put something else in there but i put the little ones in here and then i got some fruit snacks that's still in here so this goes in the middle when i was two weeks postpartum um i had some groceries that nana actually had put up for me so some of this stuff i think is just be organized so i'm gonna put these crackers that's over here with these mini pretzels and the chip one and then we got some little goldfish now just has a whole bunch of popcorns because they really into that whenever we watch movies so i guess that's just how they love that so these containers is usually what i organize this stuff like this i'm gonna probably organize these in there as well just because i don't want to put all of them in the fridge which if she's doing all that talking, she don't need. 
she'll need these to go in the fridge anyways. So in this other one, I'm gonna just put all these trail mixes and stuff that he has. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. All right, guys. So for now, I'm done with the pantry. I feel like that's everything, anyways. I don't really try to do too much snacks, cause. Miss Mab over there be eating all them up. So this is what it looks like for now. Excuse baby crying, of course. <laughs> Slight restock. As you guys hear, she is hungry. So once I'm finished, I'll you know finish putting up the groceries and stuff. And I'll probably just show you guys once I do get started on my Caesar salad. Everything else that's left goes in the fridge. Like the fruits and all that waters. And then the rest is the ingredients for my dinner. So I'll check back in with you guys. Hi guys. So I ended up putting all the groceries up. Finally got baby down. And I actually fixed me another mug of some chocolate. Tell me why. This man went to the grocery store. I sent him my groceries list that I wanted. And he forgot to get Parmesan cheese. Which I know that is a key factor to a Caesar salad. So I can't even make my Caesar salad. I hockey annoyed. Because I really wanted to get a little vibe going. Cook something simple that I really wanted. You know, I ain't been in the kitchen and I don't know how long. So I'm really annoyed. But it's just like... You know, whatever. I guess it wasn't meant for tonight. So he got cheddar cheese instead of Parmesan cheese. So he said he's actually just going to whip us something quick for us. Since, you know, I'm like, I can't make my Caesar salad and that's what I wanted. So I'm really not even in the mood and the vibe to do that anymore. So he's going to make something. I'm not really sure what. We do have these broccolinis that's in the fridge. They probably have a few days. So I'm going to tell him to make these. And I don't know if he's going to make the steak or not. But like I said, he's going to do that. And I was putting my oats in my um, container. And I still have some left in here. So I was thinking of trying to make some overnight oats. Which i actually been dying to try them. So I might make that. But I'm not going to do that until I get the dinner situated because i actually am very hungry so whenever dinner is situated and all that i'll see if i come and make these overnight oats with you guys because it's supposed to be like you know quick and easy for the mornings which i've been eating because y'all know i be feeling like a zombie so i just wanted to update you guys on that and this mug is weird because it has like the handle on this side for the words but i hold my mug like this so since he's going to be doing food i probably just get started on trying to organize my um dresser in the room with my clothes since i've been giving you guys little home updates you guys know that i don't have a closet so when i had to move all my stuff out when i was you know gonna upgrade my room i put all my clothes in bins and they pretty much just been sitting in bins this is what my dining room looks like right now 
it's just all my bins with my clothes and as you guys see my shoes are right here as well so that is another reason why i really just want to organize my clothes because of course i don't want to keep seeing my stuff in bins and which is why i need you guys to help me decide what i should do for my temporary closet so i'll most likely show you guys a little bit of me trying to organize this clothes the best i can of course all of this clothes is not gonna fit in my dresser so i think i'm just gonna put mostly like my like my new lounge clothes my skims and my undies and all that so let me go ahead and get to you know doing that because as you guys see i have a, quite a few bins She is done with my dinner. This is what he cooked up. The steak, rice, and some veggies with the broccolini I showed you guys. You smell like a little Run a little happy ass up and down them steps. Ain't that right? Get in this room. Now we're going to get you a little tiny bed to go in there. Cause if we let you sleep with us, you are gonna be six years old like her, and I won't get out of bed. <laughs> We're not gonna do that with you. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to eat my food, and then I think that's gonna be all the organizing that I do for tonight. All right, guys. So a few later, I finally got baby to stay down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do these overnight oats and call it a night and then you know i'll come tomorrow morning hopefully and try them with you guys so i got my oats almond milk vanilla yogurt cinnamon i got this uh agave and i got a peach i told you guys i really been to peach so i'm gonna make them like a peach flavor i was gonna do like strawberries and bananas which is the usual that everybody does but my strawberries were actually expired. So we're going to go with a different recipe. But I think it's still going to be good. 
So I'm cutting up my peach right now into, you know, small little pieces. Peaches are all diced up. And I actually have these containers. I'm gonna just make three. Usually I see people measure it, but I'm not. I think the measuring is mostly for like when you're on the healthier side than the milk. I think it's just enough to cover the oats. Just a little bit. Stir it up. So next I'm gonna add yogurt. I think one spoonful is good. One thing that I wish that I did have is some chia seeds. All right, so then next I'm at peaches. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon at the top. Cover these up. Put my little spoons in there. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if y'all can really tell, but it looks good to me. I'm gonna let you guys know what they, you know, look like when we put it in the fridge overnight and eat it tomorrow morning. But for now, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. So good night, guys. Morning guys, it's early in the morning. I'm gonna eat the overnight oats. I know I said I was gonna talk to you guys. Cute of the little vibes are too loud. Ooh. I don't know y'all, but it's a habit of blowing my food. I like them, but I feel like personally the next time I do them, I wouldn't add the yogurt. So I'm gonna just eat as much as I can of this. And then you know, go back to sleep. But I know I said I was gonna try it with you guys. So I'll just come and speak to you guys a little later. Hey guys, so I'm finally getting up for today. I have been got up. I gave um, Taleza a bath. And I got her down, so she's taking a nap right now. But I woke up with this big bump right here. It's really bothering me. So I'm about to try to put a pimple patch on it. Which is like a weird spot. So hopefully that sucks all that nasty stuff up. And my chest hasn't gotten any better either. I got these big ones that just popped up so I honestly think I'm just gonna continue to do some more organizing I didn't really do much last night I wasn't gonna do nothing at all because the little organizers that I got 
The first pack that I had bought for Tizana's room, they had came with like some double-sided tape that goes on the side and these didn't. But I had some double-sided tape, but it's not as thick. So I just been using that. Um, but I feel like it doesn't really do no difference. So I pretty much just been inserting in there just to, you know, try to keep it as organized as I can. So as you guys see, I didn't really get much done. And then this drawer keeps opening by itself. So I'm gonna try to find something that keeps it closed. I don't know why, but as you guys see, that's what it keeps going. <laughs> but I did these pajamas. Then I did like my skims drawer. I think I still have more skims, honestly, in either one of in either one of my other bins. So I'm thinking if I should save this one for my other skims drawer. And then this top one, I think I'm gonna make it my underwear drawer with socks. And then use this one for shirts. And then this one for right now, I just have some baby clothes. Cause y'all know she be having accidents. So I just have this one right here to keep stuff on hand. But I'm also gonna put my clothes in this storage part right here and on this one. So I still have, I feel like enough space. I might be able to fit all my clothes, hopefully. Like all my lounge and chill clothes. And right now currently I'm just watching Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> I started watching it from like the first season. If you guys know any good series I could watch, let me know. I be needing to watch something that is, you know, long and interesting. So here are some other skim stuff that I know have the sets, but I just can't find it. So like I said, I think I'm gonna definitely leave this other drawer up here for my skim stuff. But this is a double-sided tape that I have, and I pretty much just put it on the sides right here. But like I said, I don't think it's really doing any difference like the other ones that was supposed to come with it. It's kind of hard for me to show y'all in the actual drawer. But I put it on there and try to hold it. But like I said, it don't really do no difference. But once you put clothes on both sides, it's going to stay in place, of course. And as y'all see, I've pretty much been trying to fold them nicely to have space. So the rest of this stuff in here is actually workout clothes. So I'm gonna keep all this clothes for now. And then I feel like in a few months, I'm gonna actually declutter stuff that I know is not gonna fit me. Mostly like my size smalls, cause I think I'm gonna stay in my medium size range, but I don't wanna really go too crazy right now. And then you know when I lose my weight, you know sometimes we can still fit sizes that are smaller than what we wear especially workout clothes because they are like stretchy but a hack that i've been doing is i lay my pants out then i'll get the matching top lay it inside fold over the top part and then just fold and then the final fold tuck it inside the band right here and this is what it looks like, just to save space. So I'm gonna just um, organize this. And I'll probably show you guys when I'm done. Cause like I said, it's just folding, organizing, and watching Love and Hip Hop. That's all I'm doing for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Want it all, I won't leave a breadcrumb. It's what I thought a nigga said something. I thought a nigga said something. Touch me, house, wait, house, wait, house.
graveyard, that's where the R stay. I'll stay. Hypnotized, they do what I say. What I say. 21 niggas don't play. Don't play. My Glock Gen 5 said, hey. Say, hey. You take my chopper everywhere, that's bait. That's bait. You choke. Got your car, you giving trade, giving trade. We been spinning through they hood all day, all day. Niggas say they outside, okay, okay. I can't let them play me no way, no way. You a duck if you believe a whole say, whole say. She got way more bodies than my okay, okay. My little brother beat his body, OJ, OJ. Niggas talking about they lit on the flame. That little boy, Matt Scotty, ain't gang. Watch a half a million dollars in his plane. I don't go through TSA to get on plane. You get 50 with our head, then you lame. She knew I was leaving before I even came. Two revolvers on my waist, John Wayne. Smack niggas, then I get on live and sing. Yeah. Want it all, I won't leave a breadcrumb. Bitch, what I thought a nigga said something. Thought a nigga said something. G Block, all we know is red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. So it's been a few hours, and I'm actually over the whole organizing thing so i'm actually just gonna stop i don't know when i'll finish it but i pretty much still haven't even got halfway done honestly but i'm gonna show you guys what i have done just in case i don't finish some more you guys seen my pajama drawer this is my extra skims drawer and currently i've been covering this with tape for now and y'all seen this skims drawer and then i did organize some stuff in here i end up putting my workout clothes in here so this is my workout stuff it's some workout stuff under this and then these are my body they'll be considered kind of like workout chill and then since y'all know the fall weather and all that is coming up i end up putting my two-piece sweats and stuff over here so on this side, I'm most likely going to put like bottoms and tops, like extra tops that's not going to fit in this drawer, of course. This one is not as big as this one. And then actually to open this up, you have to lift up the whole thing like this. So I kind of don't like that about it. So like I mentioned, that's going to be it for now. I am just going to feed. It's time for her. She's knocked out though, because y'all know she took a bath, so she's sleeping good. But I'm going to wake her up to feed. And I'm honestly just going to be chilling. This organizing actually got me a bit more tired than I thought. Let me turn this down real quick. So basically, you know, I'm not really supposed to be doing too much sitting up or like just not doing too much. But it kind of makes me feel handicapped. So I'll be trying to move around. But then when I do get to moving around, my body aches and then sometimes I do feel like a little lightheaded like i'm putting too much on my body so i do try to like take it easy but i still try to do something if that makes sense i'm gonna just lay down for now like i said and feed and i'll see if i'll update you guys hey guys happy sunday it's actually been a couple a couple of days but honestly just been tired but today i decided to push myself to get up refreshing <laughs> refreshing up i did my hair do on a cute little two-piece i actually do need to film that's the only reason i did do my hair but before i get my day started i'm actually gonna put something on my stomach she got me some kava and then i got my favorite drink from them which is the cucumber mint drink i did get the pita again so uh, that's what it looks like. I can put on the screen my order in case y'all wanna try it. The only thing with this, it is kinda messy. So I'ma eat, feed, then probably do a glam and then try to do my haul that I need to record. So I will just keep you guys updated. The beat is feeling cute. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm done with my feeding. I'm about to finally get ready on this haul. It's actually much, much later. I usually like filming like really bright in the day for my natural sunlight. But I'm actually just going to shoot in my living room today. Just to give it a different little setup. So I'm about to go ahead and get my 
packages ready to put in the living room over here. Tazana is in here watching TV, so that's probably what y'all hear. But these are my packages right here. I'm not going to show you guys any of that footage. You guys probably already seen it in my last video anyways. So I'm going to talk to you guys after I'm done. All right, guys. So I'm done shooting. And remember when I did my diaper bag? I told you guys that I had a cover for the wipes. And it was in this haul, so... Now I get to finally put it So this is what this looks like Actually this one has like the little flaps I usually like the ones that have the cover Like Like this one it looks a bit more Better but for now we just gonna keep this because these i actually don't use i just been keeping them because i like the pink vibe to it so i'm gonna go ahead and add this back in my bag and i think i'm gonna go ahead and fold this and put it in there as well Let's see the whole vibe with the bag since I look a little up to par. Is it giving bad mommy on or what? Period. And then of course I could wear the sling with it as well. Like so. But anyways, I do have some packages from Amazon that I'm going to go ahead and open with you guys. Just because I want to get rid of this trash in here. Okay, so these are some rhinestones. It comes with the rhinestones and the glue. These are two reds. There's a black one. Yeah, and then these are some gold ones slash yellow. And then here are some green ones. These seem to be some shoes. So it's actually some slides. Ooh, these are cute. I totally forgot about them. So they're these pink, like fuzzy Serpa kind of slides. And it says it's memory foam. They do look and feel like a bit thick on the inside. So they're probably going to be comfy. So this is actually a new comforter set. I still stay with the green shade. These seems to be lighter and it's actually like a duvet cover and i like this because you can actually tie like bows on it so i'll see if we actually get to put these on i doubt tonight probably tomorrow lastly we have this other huge package so i'm gonna go ahead and get it real quick so as you guys see we got this big box it's actually a stroller that i ordered the only thing is if I open it, I don't know where I'm going to keep it. Struggle. I ain't supposed to be lifting this. But I like how it had like the minimal touch of pink. Like not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all this extra stuff off. Let's see if we get to put it together. So I think the little wheels go in the front. So then the big wheels in the back. Do we add these first? Or do we add this first? So I think this goes in first. And 
then these. with a cover like if I were to lay it down this basically goes right here like this as a cover so I'm gonna have to save this and this this is actually from here and then lastly it does have a cup holder which will go right here yeah, it goes right here. So I wanted to give you guys a better look at the stroller. So here's what she looks like in her glory. I really like the black and pink vibe. You know it's black better for like dirtiness and stains. And then the pink, you know, because she's a girl and she's in a pink world. So I really like the color combo. I just need to figure out how to like lay it in all the different ways that it can. So I know in the beginning I had told you guys we was going to do the diaper bag and this other DIY so I figured to go ahead and do it so I kept seeing these clogs that everybody was doing were like patches and it's pretty simple like I said it's just some clogs with patches so I got these black ones from Amazon so I got a 38 so this is what they look like sort of like Birkenstocks and then patches I got this one with like different patches just in case I liked how they look and I, you know, wanted to do some more or I maybe wanted to do some for Tizana. These come with like a whole bunch of different ones. So I figured they'll have like some kitty and just different ones in here. I'm going to show you guys a little overview of these in a minute. And then these are some Hello Kitty ones. This is pretty much the vibe that I'm going for, but I wanted to see if I did add some other ones like I said. So these what they look like. Let me just spread all of them out so then you guys can see them. So these are all the different patches. See if you guys can get a little close up. Oh, we should have these stickers. So I'm gonna try to brainstorm which ones I want. Kind of get like a vibe. Oh, I really like this one with the camera. So I'm going to try to see what I end up doing with both pairs and then show you guys once I start actually ironing them on. I got my iron right here and hopefully it's not a fail. Alright guys, so I think this is how I'm going to iron them on. The pack that these came on, I feel like they were more so like kitty. So I did get back on Amazon and seen that they have other ones like maybe like some crosses. Just some more like grown up ish. So I feel like I don't want to fill them up too much just in case I do want to add. And then I actually seen that you can get them customized to like your name. So I am going to leave like some space to maybe put like a letter T or get a one that's custom with my name. But I think I'm going to go ahead and iron these on like this. So I think I'll do this one first. And I guess just hold it for a few seconds. <coughs> so first patch on and it worked. 
I ended up putting a shirt on top and putting it and I actually turned the heat up on this a bit higher. I just applied like a bit of pressure. So I'm putting on the second one now. And then putting the shirt on top. Then I'm going to get the iron. And I put my hand in the inside of the um, clog to apply like pressure. And then I'm going to just hold it for I guess like a minute and make sure I get like all sides. You can kind of feel when it gets hot and that's when I pretty much like move it around. Yeah, so that did the job. Second one is on there. That's so cute. And then we have the cherry up here. So I'm definitely gonna be ordering the one with my name or put bad as something. This is so cute. And I'm gonna see if they do have these um, clogs and like baby sizes. Well, not baby, but like toddler for Tizana. And that's the cherry. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones. As you guys see, you just put the patch, add a piece of clothing, and then put the iron on it. And it should be good to go. So I'm gonna show you guys when they both done. But this is what this one looks like so far. So these are the final clogs. So cute. What do you guys think about them? I did leave a space here for the custom name one that I said. And I have seen what people pretty much put like patches, you know, all around here and here as well. So I'm gonna see which other patches I get to find as well. But the customized one that I've seen, it wouldn't get here to like that first week of October, I think is what it said. So I'll probably just keep you guys updated. And if I do find some for Tazana, I'll see if I wait to do them on camera with you guys. So, I'm going to put them on so you guys can see what they look like on my feet. So, this is what they look like. So, definitely if you guys want to do this, I can link the um, clogs and the patches. Well, I always try to link everything that's linkable. So, just make sure you guys check my um, description box. So, since I did put a little bit of um, makeup... I'm gonna go ahead and take it off before I lay down. I pretty much just have like concealer and a little bit of blush. But I am gonna get in bed and edit. I was gonna try to make some more um, of my overnight oats cause I actually did like them. And there's such a big help in the morning like to put something on my stomach since they're already made but we don't have any milk so I took it off with this water but I've been telling you guys about these little towelettes I like to wet them and just clean my paper and get all the extra Makeup. See, like there's still some on there. And honestly, y'all, I'm really just so freaking tired and over this acne phase like look at this bump that came out right here like i'm really just so over i'm gonna put some of this tea tree oil my eyebrow lady had told me that this helps for when the bumps are like big like that just put some on there i 
I don't have any pimple patches to put some on there. Well, I do have pimple patches, but I feel like these are more so, I feel like me personally, to cover up the bump, be cute. I feel like the ones that actually work and suck up all the nasty stuff are the clear ones. Um, I can't think of the name of them right now. Put some Laneige on. And honestly, I'm not going to put nothing else on my face. I am going to put my hair up, but my um, silk hair tie is in the bedroom right now. And I'm actually just going to get on my computer and edit. Um, it is currently 11 o'clock. So I will most likely call it a night. So good night. Happy Sunday in case I didn't mention it. Good night guys. Hey guys, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and close this video out. I didn't realize when I did speak to you guys, I had said that it was actually already Sunday. So you know, of course, end of the week. And I'm actually on my computer. And yeah, like I said, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down some video ideas you guys would like to see. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.